Hello there. So, just getting ready to get on the bike here now. All set. I have an account. I have a and b booked in Ballyshannon. There was nothing in, in Bundoran available, so I'm gonna go on an extra few kilometers. I'll give you a look at the bike. I don't know if I can flip the camera while I'm recording. I don't think I can. So, I have all my clothes in this bag here in the back. I have all chargers and batteries in that, and then I have runners and jocks and socks in that. So it's added on a fair bit of weight onto the bike, so it'll be interesting to see how I go. Speedo there, all set and ready to go. So off I go. And that's it, I'm rolling out of Eastkey here now. Just left the house behind me, but bike feels quite good. Everything kind of spaced out all right and the weight is kind of spread so it's good weather's okay uh, the weather's okay it's it's actually brightening up a bit i'll turn the phone around that's over the coast i've kind of ended ground so i'm just i'm heading into eastkey village now and i'm taking a right along the wild atlantic way so keep you posted Traffic jam here. First traffic jam of the Go on, get up. Go on. How are you? Yup. You're working hard. Hello there! Just five kilometers outside Ballyshannon now, so just finishing day one. Uh, I pulled in, I met a cyclist along the way, cycle with him for about 20 minutes. Um, a, a head case, he did Malin to Mizzen uh, in one day a few weeks ago. Like in one day, 32 hours it took him. He did non stop, just kept cycling. So he brought me into a bike shop, I told him about my back tire. That, uh, I kind of had a slow puncher and I have no suspension because I have the extra weight on it. So he brought me into a bike shop and the lad started me out with a new tyre. They were too busy to fit it, but fuck it, I'm only 5k from where I'm staying, so I'll get settled and I'll change it over. Um, that's Bundoran behind me, it's like a sand dunes and golf course all around. So all good, day one. Almost finished. I keep you posted. Nearly time for a pint. So, just had a lovely steak dinner in that restaurant. I think you can see it behind me, that one there with the white building, the limit. Gorgeous. Uh, but then they were setting up for a 40th or something and there was a lot of cultures coming in, so I liked it. So just a bit of a view of Ballyshannon. Cracking little spot. Little footbridge here. Going across it. I think that's, I'm not sure, I have to check the map, but I think this comes in from Loch Erne. And that's on Tip Mullochmore and Street of Beach and Bundoran and out that direction, as far as I know. So, that's the other river there. So, just heading on into the town here, gonna have a couple of pints and then get an early night. Right up. Just a quick video, just checking out a BB here. Bike is fully loaded, new tyre, spare tyre. Where's that? Strapped onto the front there, so that's handy. Uh, weather's gone a bit shit. It's a good bit windy and there's very dark clouds, so I could be in for it today, but we'll see how we go. So 14 kilometers in. Just came through Ross Nowla. I'd never been there before. A uh, real fucking holiday caravan park, poxy looking place. But I think the beach looked deadly, but I didn't stop. The wind is killing me. 
really strong, especially along the coast here. And I had a little bit of rain at the start, but it's gone now. Uh, seems to be brightening up a bit as well, but if that wind had just fuck off now, I'd be happier. All right. So, uh, 15 kilometers in, it's pretty windy. Well, I'm lucky enough, there seems to be trees on the right side of the road that's blocking most of the wind. Barely any traffic on the road, a few people going to mass, I'd say. Uh, so it's quite quiet, nice, no traffic behind me or in front of me. I'm heading now fairly out into the west here now, so I'd imagine it's gonna get more isolated. Uh, there's a car coming up behind me just to speak. Um, there was a couple in next door to me last night that came in at half two in the morning and they were fucking arguing for an hour, stupid, but I could hear every word of it. So I didn't get a great night's sleep. I ended up shouting at them <laughs> from the bed. From the bed, I ended up shouting at them, shut the fuck up. <laughs> And they'd stay quiet for a minute and then they'd fucking go at it again. But anyway, dickheads. New tires working out a treat. It's like having fucking suspension on the back. I felt like I was cycling on the rim on the last one. So it's fucking brilliant. It feels like a different bike completely. So that's kind of what scenery that I'm looking at. Really green, really grown. I'd imagine as I go, I'm gonna get into more rocky, kind of western terrain. Uh, 16k on the bike, there, though. All right, out. Just going into Killy Bags now. Sun is starting to shine. Tough, tough getting here. That wind is a bastard. Go in here and get some lunch. Sleeve leg behind me. See it there to the side. And I'm on like a, a far end of a road. About 10 kilometers to go. And I'm getting hammered by the wind. It's really windy. And it's right in my face. But another 10k. And I'm stopping. So I'm just going to give you a quick walk around this cool little place that I'm in. So double bed, ensuite, gorgeous shower, boiling hot water. Just look. 
walking out there. The bike is down there in that shed. A bit cloudy today. Now I'm gonna do a walk around outside, but I won't talk because it's still quite early. A lot of people are still in bed. I'll just see the kitchen and the living room. Okay, just coming out of Malin Beg and Column Kill, Glen Column Kill. Stayed in a deadly little place. I sent a video earlier. Pub downstairs with the finest Guinness. The owner was a lovely man, sat in having a pint with me last night. And then I got up this morning and uh, there was porridge and eggs and all there. He told me just work away on them. That was gorgeous. Uh, Glen Column Kill is a lovely little spot, hidden right out there in the corner. Not much in it, but gorgeous. Uh, got up on the bike, put on the longers today. I'll kill it out. And I have the jacket on as well. And it's needed. It's pretty dismal. I was about five minutes in and a big heavy shower came and saturated me. I had to stop and put on the jacket. But I have to say, with the jacket and the longers, and there's actually not that much wind, it's quite calm. I'm doing okay. I don't really mind the showers, and they're short, they're heavy, but they're short. Uh, so that's it for now. I'm aiming for a bum bag tonight, but I've nothing booked or anything, I'll just see how I go. Bucketing out. Just tried to get accommodation of this place and it's booked out so it's a pity because it's really nice we're gonna have to try another place now so these are this is the room i got nice little tv all my wet clothes i actually washed everything in the sink nice little lunch room a lot of showers fucking freezing with clothes hanging everywhere because everything is soaked but the best part I haven't even checked out the town because it was lashing when I arrived. But now it's obviously sunny, dried up a bit. So I get some pics now. I'm going out for some dinner and a pint. <laughs>
hello. So, <laughs> so I went out for dinner earlier on uh, in this pub in the middle of the town in Bumbeg called Sean Oaks that was highly recommended on TripAdvisor and it was gorgeous. The seafood chowder was by far the best I've had yet. Um, and then I had like a seafood pasta and it was gorgeous, that was lovely. And then I said, fuck it, I'll go into the bar and I'll have a few pints. So I went in there and I had about four pints. And then I said, fuck it, I don't really want to have any more, so I'm going to go home. So I'm walking home along this road. Uh, and I'm staying about like a mile away from here. I'm staying down on the harbour because there was no rooms up here. So I had to kind of stay down on the harbour. That wasn't my choice. But I'm walking by this bar and I can hear some fiddle music and a bit of diddly eye coming out. So I says, fuck it, I'll pop my head in there. And I went in and here's this like kind of a real juvenile group of about six or seven people. Kind of playing a bit of fiddle, playing a bit of this, playing a bit of that, but they're not very good. <laughs> so I went in and I said, I'll have a point to watch it. Next thing, this mad looking bastard comes out. He looks like a hobo. And he has a keyboard underneath his arm. <laughs> and he walks out, and he walks into the middle of the crowd of people playing music, and he's kind of like hooshing people out of the way. And I'm looking at him, it's gonna be a fight. People are gonna fucking kick up here. And he hooshes people out of the way, and I says, oh, Jesus Christ. I say this fellow walks around with the keyboard under his arm the whole fucking time. So he plugs in the keyboard, and he knows where to plug it in now. And it turns out he owns the fucking bar and he's brilliant. So he gets it on the keyboard and he just, but it's not a keyboard, it's like a piano. It sounds like a piano. And he says, blending in with all the trad Irish music. And then over the next hour, the door just keeps swinging open and people are walking in. Young people, like young girls, young boys, 17, 18 years of age, walking in with fiddles, bowerons, ukuleles, you fucking name it, they walked in with it. And... That's what the videos are that I'm after showing you. <laughs> in no time at all. I'm, I'm locked in at the bar and around with these two people, a fella from Dublin and a girl from fucking, don't even know where she's from, Switzerland, she's from Switzerland. And we're buying rounds for each other. And now it's like fucking, it's three minutes to 12. And I have to cycle 120 kilometers in the morning. Good night. Good morning. My daily 10 kilometer blog. I just want you to see this. Stunning. And that's all I have to say for now. Good luck. On the road, 10 kilometers outside Bumbeg. Check that out for a view. Oh my God. I hope I'm holding the camera right because I can't see what you're saying. Holy shit. Dunny Gall, you little beauty. Sun is shining. Shorts are on. Road is good. Empty. Blue skies. Look at this coming around the corner. I'm going to just film this corner. God. Look at that. Heaven. I think I'll have to pull in here for a photo. Devo. Island in the distance there. If you can 
see it. Epic video number two. We got these savage mountains, Glen Bay National Park. And across here, beautiful coastline. More cliffs up there that I'm heading up around. Beach. Just come over those hills there, that's Port New. And that's Loch Swilly. And over there is Malin Head, which I need to get to. But there's no ferry to bring me across, so I have to go back in there. Yeah, I but this is the bastard that's right in front of me. I don't know if you can make that out, but follow the road up and it goes windy, windy, windy right up to the top. And it's seriously fucking steep. I'll take a little breather before I do that. Good morning. Just leaving the uh, the house here. This is the house I stayed in last night in that bedroom up there. There's the little pub. <laughs> Literally there. That I was in till around one o'clock in the morning. So the bike is all kitted out. Ready to go. So I'm just walking up here now to the pier. I have the runners on today. Just till I get over the boat. And uh, walk up to the pier and I'm meeting this guy up here who's gonna take me over. Connor and he has a, a wee boat and uh, he's charging me 20 euro take me across which gets me back on track and I'm into Bunkrana so I'll start from Bunkrana then and uh, get up to Malin Head and see how far I can make it down on the other side of an awful lot of climbing here this morning so just walking the bike down to the pier in uh, Rathmullen so the two guys left Barbara and her husband Liam, absolutely salt of the earth, lovely people. They left this morning for work. They may have breakfast with them and then they left. So I was in the house for an hour on my own. I was able to just charge the phone and kind of catch up on messages and stuff like that. Cause we met these soldiers last night and went out. And I didn't get to look at the phone all night really. We're usually I'm kind of sitting there on it. But uh, that's the town of Rapmullen behind me. And that little pub up there on the corner, you can barely see it, is where the night previous to me being in there, I, I was talking to Dad this morning and he reckons it's Barry Bain because the woman said he was a civil servant and he was from Oldcourt Cottages. Like, what are the coincidences? Oh, yeah, I'm in the middle of nowhere here. Um, so this is the pier. Coming down, that man must think I'm a bit mad talking to myself. But uh, I'm to meet a guy down here, Connor, who's a friend of Barbara in the house. And he's going to bring me across the bay. I'll show you now. Over to Bunkrana. And then I start hitting some serious hills today. So I don't know, I'm not setting any massive goals for myself. I'm just going to see how far I can get it. But I'll show you kind of the pier and what I'm looking at now. This is just coming up here. Nice big beach. I 
I don't know if one of them boats is for me or what's the story. I just have to go down and ask. He said it's a small boat, they look quite a big. That's it, pony out. The crack, there's me both pulling away, <laughs> and I'm over on the far side. <laughs> so that just saved me about four hours worth of cycling. All for 20 quid, you little beauty. Goodbye, boat. So I'm walking up a hill. This bastard, if you look closely, all them other bastards behind me. I actually come off the bike. One of them was so steep. I was pushing it so hard with my legs. I just lost my momentum and just toppled over. I lay down on the ground for a minute, battered. I haven't walked up a hill with my bike in about 10 years. Whew. These hills of Donegal are serious. Today is the toughest of days. It really has me shattered. I don't think all the Guinness helped last night, but this is what I'm up against. I am just surrounded in huge, huge hills. So, en route to Mallon Head, going up over this first hill first. I'm gonna walk as far as there. I'm gonna sit down and take a break. Uh, absolutely pissing out, lashing down, so I'm soaked to the skin, so I've done Mallon Head, just on my way back out, um, sorry, battery stopped there, just on my way back out and I'm going to do about another 12k, I've about 85 done, so about 90 odd I'll do, and it leaves a nice handy 40 for the morning into Derry, so I book a lovely hotel there. Uh, in a place called Cool Daff. So it's on the eastern side of the Inishon Peninsula. And it leaves me with a nice straight run into Derry in the morning, about 40 minutes I'd say. Or sorry, 40 kilometers in the morning. So it's about two, two and a half hours in this train. So almost there. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting out of wet clothes. Today was tough, really, really tough. <laughs> 